Happy High Holy Month, don't you know? Today is day five of the 17 in which I am celebrating the High Holy Month and St. Patrick's Day, along with honoring the memory of my mother who was of Irish heritage. We are on a road trip today, folks, and I'm gonna tell you where. We are in the town where I lived for 20 years. Actually, right next door to the town, we are in East Eden. I lived in Eden for 20 years, and we are at St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church, where I went to church for the part of the 20 years that I lived here. So I imagine you're asking, Christina, why are we at a church for the High Holy Month? Well, there's a really good reason, but it's one that's a little different, unique, but if you're Irish, you're going to understand this completely. And if you're not Irish, I hope you will hang in with me. Today, I wanted to talk to you about an Irish tradition of which is very important in our family, and it's wakes. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know it's not exactly a comfortable subject when you talk about someone passing away, but I have a good reason, so hang in with me. In January of this year, the, our community lost a wonderful, wonderful man, and I lost a good Irish friend. Dennis Farrell passed away. He was from Hamburg, married to the wonderful Jeannie, and they had four children and just a grand Irish family. The thing that brought Dennis and I together, really, um, over and above our kids going to school together, was the fact that he knew my mother from working in the banking industry, and he also knew her twin sister, my aunt, who was a Mercy nun, as he was completely devoted to the Mercy Order of Sisters. So Dennis and I formed a relationship that was a lot based on social media, believe it or not, but it was close and it was fun and it was meaningful. Dennis's wake was held in a funeral home in the First Ward, the Irish section of Buffalo. And when I walked in the door, both floors of the building along with all the rooms were packed, packed with people from our community who wanted to come and pay their respects. As soon as I walked in the door, there were four women standing there each one of them wanted to shake my hand, talk to me, find out who I was, why I was there, how I knew Dennis. As I was quickly to find out, they were Dennis's sisters. And they were there because they wanted people to feel welcome. And they wanted people to know how grateful they were that the community turned out in honor of their brother. When I walked into the room where Dennis was laid out in the casket, um, I got up close and there was Jeannie, his wife, sitting in a high swivel chair that was placed right at the head of Dennis's open casket. And when you went to visit Jeannie, she was talking with Dennis right on her shoulder as they always had through their whole marriage. And as odd as it may sound, it felt like they were still together um, and connected and you felt like you were visiting both of them at the same time. When I left that wake that night, I was overwhelmed by memories because when I was a kid growing up, when my, anyone in my mother's family died, they were waked in the house. Um, my mother's family were farmers, and so things were done differently than they were in the city. And the body was right there in the front parlor, and life went on all around it. Um, when it came time for calling hours, people came in the afternoon and then in the evening. And at eight o'clock, the parish priest showed up said the rosary, everybody knelt down in the house and said the rosary, and then the priest left and whoever was left over and the adults uh, went into the kitchen to sit around the wood stove and enjoy some Irish libation, shall we say. As a kid, I was you know, six, seven, eight years old when various members were waked in the house. Uh, to me, uh, I knew that it was a solemn occasion, but I also knew that we would be staying overnight, three, four nights at my grandparents' house with all the rest of my cousins. And at night, when all the adults went into the kitchen, we cousins were cut loose without any supervision, and it was fun, it was a party. And so while certainly it was a sad time, for kids, it was great. We got to be together and have fun. The other part that was really, that sticks in my memory about those wakes were the number of people who came. For days, people, there were lines from the parlor out to the front porch and onto the lawn of my grandparents' house. And not only were they neighbors and family, they were also mercy nuns. My aunt, as I've mentioned, was a mercy nun. So all those sisters, which was a sizable community at the time, would come and pay their respects, along with all the priests who were friends of my mother's, my grandparents, you know, the whole Irish Catholic family thing. It was 
So impressive, it stays in my mind today of the number of people who came and paid their respects. And it was not only sadness, it was also memories and laughter and hugs and wonderful celebration of the person's life. And when I walked into Dennis's wake this past January, that's what it felt like again. And I shall sleep in